So we've been getting these kind of questions a lot. Why are your frets slanted? What good do those slanted frets actually do? How hard is it to adjust to playing with slanted frets like that? Well, in this video, we're gonna briefly go over the benefits of slanted frets, also referred to as multi-scale guitars. Multi-scale refers to the extended scale length, which is achieved by setting the frets at a specific angle, which can vary per instrument. This creates multiple scale lengths across the neck, hence the term multi-scale. For example, this guitar has a multi-scale length of 25.5 by 26.5 inches. This means that the scale length near the high E string is 25.5, while the scale length near the bottom E string is 26 and a half. Multi-scale guitars are most beneficial when playing in lower tunings such as drop C or drop B, or when using extended string counts like seven string or eight string guitars. Multi-scale guitars also provide improved string tension and intonation across the neck. This is because the thicker strings have more surface area to stretch across, relieving some of the tension on the neck. Multi-scale guitars are also more ergonomically friendly for some players. For example, some players, like myself, tend to curve their hand with the guitar as they move up and down the neck. So in that regard, the angled frets help to provide a much more comfortable playing experience, especially on 7 and 8 string guitars. And as for the difficulty to adjusting the playing multi-scale guitars, honestly, there's not much of a learning curve. While the angled frets may look intimidating at first, there's no major difference between playing something like this and a standard fretted guitar. Where you'll really notice the difference is in the performance of the guitar. With improved intonation, more balanced string tension, and an overall more comfortable playing experience, there's really no going wrong with a multi-scale guitar. So with all that out of the way, let's take a look at a demo and hear this guitar in action. Alright, there you have it. I hope this video gave you more insight into the world of multi-scale guitars. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below for any other guitar related questions you might have. We may end up making your questions into another video. And for more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified the next time we post a video. Until next time, I've been Jacob with Legator Guitars and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. <laughs>